This tutorial is a presentation on how to specifically install the LAN ANC toolbox and set it up in a network situation, which means that you would have multiple computers um, on a network having access at the same libraries. And therefore, they need to share the same uh, sort of hard drive and map drive. So on each computer, we would have to set up a map drive that will be pointing to um, to a folder inside our server server and this is where we will have all our libraries so on my setup i've already uh, mapped uh, one of the uh, the letter x to my r drive on the server and if i click on this i'm pointing straight away to a specific folder that i've created on uh, my server drive called lastbox doesn't matter as long as you're pointing to to the same place so that's a very important things to um, to set up and all the computers will have to be set up in the same way so important things is that uh, if you install this for the first time you need to be administrator on your computer and you have to have java installed for the version of your uh, operating system windows 7 windows 8 um, it's up to you so once you've uh, downloaded the uh, the last box which is, which is this one here we are going to start the setup double click yes and we just have to follow the link so next we accept the license agreement next next and it will be installed here next and you go Okay, all done. So we can see the README file, which actually talk about uh, how to install it. Uh, don't worry about this on the network installation. And um, we've got our icon here set up. So at the moment, because it's a bit of a specific installation, if I'm trying to start my toolbox, click on it, it's missing some files. And that makes sense because it's a bit of a specific installation. So we have to move some files first. So I'm just going to um, go back to my local drive here, so that's the server, and here we have to copy some files. So you have to find out where your uh, last box was installed before, C drive, program file, last box, and we're going to go to virtual. And we have to copy these two files into our map drive. So it's very simple, copy and paste. It is very important that the letter will be X and we have to stick to this. It makes things much easier in the future, especially if you wanna exchange data from uh, one computer to another, stick to the X drive. So if now I'm going to check my last box, and now we've been able to start it. So we're pointing to the X drive and everything is good. So what I've done, I've clicked on libraries to see if everything is set up on the yellow button. So I've got my library here. You can change the name. And the two things, two other things you have to do is that you put the right path for your Microsoft Word and put the right path for your Google Earth. And save. And you should be alright.